Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with one of the very important concepts which is often asked in competitive examinations. This is the concept of profit and loss. Well, the concept is basically used in day to day life and uh, we use it very often in our day to day life. But while solving the problems related to profit and loss, we confront a number of problems. It is because we rely heavily on the formula and uh, various identities uh, concerning profit and loss which is given in the books for competitive exams. But I personally feel that once you are clear about the concept of profit and loss, you can work out the problems of profit and loss without using any formula. Yes, without using any formula. So let me just take one minute and clarify the concept of profit and loss first. Then we will come to some of the very common questions of competitive exams which are asked and in which the examiner examinees uh, face a lot of problems. So we all know that the cost price of an item is basically what we spend. What we spend. That is the cost price of the item. And the selling price of the item is what we get when we say sell the item, when we sell the item to a different person or in market. So CP cost price what we pay and SP selling price what we get on selling a particular item. So obviously if SP is greater than CP if we get more and spend less so we have profit and if CP is greater than SP that is what we spend is more than what we get so obviously that there is loss. So the profit is calculated on subtracting SP and CP and loss is subtract, uh, calculated on subtracting SP and CP in the reverse order. So this is a very basic uh, concept say uh, in class 6 the children understand the concept of profit and uh, loss and in subsequent classes they deal with the higher problems of profit and loss. Now, the problem what we face is not in the basics of this topic but when we come across percentages in this topic like we should know one more basic concept is profit percent or loss percent the percentage profit what we get or the percentage loss is always calculated on CP that is the cost price. So this is very important concept in profit and loss that whenever we have to calculate the profit percent or the loss percent then we calculate the profit and loss as described here and we divide that by the cost price and multiply by 100 to find the percentage. Similarly loss is calculated on the cost price and then we multiply it by 100. This is all we need to do all higher problems, complicated problems of profit and loss. So let us once deal with a problem which is very common. Say the first problem which I am taking is when we are given the selling price, we are given the profit percent or loss percent and we have to calculate the CP. Now see there are three variables. One is the selling price, one is profit or loss obviously there cannot be both and the cost price. Now suppose an item A is sold for rupees 240. It is sold for rupees 240 and when a shopkeeper sells this at rupees 240 he gets 20 percent profit. Now I want to know what is the cost price. 
these types of problems can be done mentally without the use of any formula for profit and loss the solution of this problem we have to calculate the cp in the numerator just write the selling price and suppose we are selling it for 20% profit then the overall selling price is 120% so just divide by 120% if it is profit add the percentage profit to 100 so 100 plus 20 gives 120% and now this will give you the answer 120% is obviously divided by 100 means 1.2 so this is 2400 upon 12 that gives you rupees 200 see we have calculated the cost price of the item without using any formula just by little understanding and using the shortcut for finding the cost price once again we are given the selling price so write the selling price in the numerator and if it is profit then the percentage profit is to be added to 100 that gives us 120 120 percent means 120 upon 100 that is 1.2 and you carry out this calculation and get the cost price in a single step similarly suppose I have incurred a loss now Suppose we have rupees 315 as the selling price and we have got 10% loss. Now I want to calculate the cost price again. Now if the cost price is calculated when there is loss then numerator remains the same the selling price and now loss 10% is to be subtracted from 100 to get 90% so 90% which gives us 315 upon 0 0.9 3150 upon 9 that is rupees 350 see again we have done this in a single step without using any formula just the basic concept of finding the cost price using this shortcut divide the selling price by the percentage total percentage that is 100 plus 20 if it is profit 100 minus 10 90 if it is loss so this is one type of problems which is very very common in competitive exams and students face a lot of problem in solving this now let us complicate the problem a little bit now let us take two aspects of a problem say we have an item is sold for say rupees 180 and when it is sold for 180 we get say a 10 percent loss 10 percent loss now i want to have 20% profit now what should be my selling price again a very common question when it comes to competitive exams so here I have two sides of the problem the first side is I am given the selling price and the loss percent so I need to calculate the cost price first just as we did here so the cost price is selling price is 180 and it is loss so percentage to be subtracted from 100 so 100 minus 10 90 percent 90 percent is 0 0.9 so this is rupees 200 so now i know that i have the cost price as rupees 200 now coming to the new selling price now the second step is also done orally what I do is the cost price which I have calculated here I have to just multiply by total so I have 20% profit so 100 plus 20% 120% that 
that is 200 multiplied by 1.2 now this will give us rupees 240 see just two lines and we arrive at the answer little bit of understanding of this topic can enable us to solve any kind of problem related to profit and loss let me take one more little bit of complicated problem wherein i have two aspects of the problem at hand now in the first part i am being given that the selling price of an item is rupees say 165 and on selling it for rupees 165 i get 10% profit now i want to know if the selling price is reduced to 105 what should be my profit or loss percent now again a very very common problem when it comes to competitive exams see sp and profit percent so i have to calculate the cp sp is 165 profit means added to 100 110 so 1.1 so 1650 upon 11 this is rupees 150 so i get the cost price as rupees 150 now the selling price is rupees 105 now compare these two if the cost price is 150 and i am selling it for 105 obviously i have a loss so loss is 150 minus 105 which is rupees 45 so i have to calculate the loss percent now so loss percent is i have the formula for loss percent loss is rupees 45 cost price was rupees 150 multiplied by 100 this will give you 30% see just two steps and we get the answer this is what happens in competitive exams people who know these basic shortcuts and the understanding basic understanding of a particular topic do well in exams they save a lot of time but others struggle to find the answer and spend a lot of time thereby not attempting more more and more questions in the exams so try these shortcuts and come out successfully in your competitive exams keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it